Hi crafters, need a quick and easy project to decorate your home for spring or Easter? Sew some adorable rustic fabric carrots by watching this video by needlepointers.com. The project only takes about 20 minutes to make. In addition to this YouTube video, we have a written photo tutorial with step-to-step -step instructions on our website. Access the written tutorial by clicking the link in the video or in the description section. So let's get started. What you will need to make the fabric carrots are the carrot template, which you can download using the link in the description, fabric, fake greenery, pinking shears, scissor, needle and thread, jute twine, polyfill stuffing, pencil, and a sewing machine. The first thing to do is download, print, and cut out the carrot paper template. If you are making many fabric carrots, you may want to make a cardboard template by tracing the paper template with a pencil onto cardboard. Then cut it out. Choose the fabric you want to use and press it with an arm to remove all wrinkles. One of my favorite products to help remove wrinkles is to lightly spray the fabric with Mary Ellen's Best Press and then iron it. Fold the fabric in half with wrong sides together. Put the template on the fabric. If you are using a paper template, pin it to the fabric. If you are using a cardboard template, trace around the carrot with a pencil onto the fabric. Then cut out the carrot. You will have two identical pieces. With wrong sides together, you will be stitching one and quarter inch away from the edge all the way around the carrot, leaving a one inch opening at the top. This opening will be used to stuff and to insert the fake greenery into the fabric carrot. At the top of the carrot, use two pins as markers for the one inch opening. Go to the sewing machine and begin stitching at the top of the carrot where you placed one of the pins. Now I'm using a quarter inch presser foot so it's easy for me to stitch a quarter inch away from the entire thing. Stitch, take a couple stitches forward and then take a couple stitches backward because you want to make sure that it doesn't come loose while you are stuffing it. When you get to the curves, like here, you may have to lift your presser foot to go around them. Slowly go around. I'm gonna put my needle down because it makes it easier to go around. Raise the presser foot and continue on around the curves. Continue to do this all the way around the carrot until you get to the second pin and then make sure that you back stitch again when you get to the second pin. With pinking shears, cut around the outside of the entire carrot. This will give it a farmhouse style look and will also prevent it from fraying. Make sure that you do not cut into the seam. Next you need to fill the carrot through the opening at the top with some polyfill. Now, you need to take small amounts at a time, and you may need a pencil to help insert it in. Use a nice amount, but it does not have to be too full. 
with a double threaded needle and what that means is you take the thread, you put it through the eye, then you double it in half, you make it in half and tie a knot at the end. Uh, what you're going to do is close up the upper opening uh, where you stuffed it and before you do that insert some of your greenery into it. Then with your needle and thread and I'm going to put the knot on the inside so I'm going up through the inside. Now we're going to do just a little running stitch along here and you're going to also make sure that you're catching the greenery as you do that. And when you get to the other end, you want to pull it closed, your opening closed a little bit, gather it up. Then turn it over and I then put a small knot on the back. Now just to make sure that the greenery stays in there, I then went back again and did a running stitch along the back. Now it's not necessary to do this, but I just wanted to make sure that my greenery would not come out. And then what I did when I got to the other end, again, I pulled it to make sure that it was gathered and I'm going to make another knot on this end. And then normally what I do is I put my needle through the fabric to the inside, bring it out, and then I cut off my thread. So it's all the end is on the inside. Now there's one more step. The final step is to take a piece of jute twine, tie it around the top of the carrot right under the greenery, and tie it in a bow. can cut these shorter if you'd like. You can leave them long, whatever you prefer. The first fabric carrot is finished. Time to make more. I hope you enjoyed this DIY video tutorial. Please like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future videos and follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter by clicking the link in the description section. In addition, Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of free sewing projects and tutorials.